Methodist Texan Hospital is the official health care provider as William shoots a shot and misses it in the lane of UTSA Athletics, San Antonio's most preferred health system for all your health care needs. Go Roadrunners. Pass deflected into the front court comes Akbar to the goal, missed the shot. He wants goaltending, but they're going to call a foul, I think, on the Roadrunners. I don't think they're going to count the shot. Yes, they are. And that will push the lead to 59-52 to and a chance for Akbar to get a three-point play out of this. The foul is going to be on Nick Allen. It'll be his third, and it'll get George Williams off the UTSA bench as Akbar goes to the line for a chance to get the three-point lead and a three-point play and get the lead to eight. Actually, that's Allen's fourth foul, so he'll be on the bench for a while. And here's uh, Gary Akbar at the free throw line. Free throw is good, and it's 60 to 52. Austin Carr comes into the front court for UTSA. Gino Little still resting for the Roadrunners. Across the timeline, Sutherland guards him. High post it comes to Cockrell. He'll turn and face the goal, give way to Billingsley. Nick backs out three-point line. Looks left side for Matthews. Now gives way to Bowie. Bowie, a little head fake. Picked up on the switch by Josh Williams. Nine on the shot clock for Ryan. Driving to the free throw line. Can't shoot. Left side, Matthews. Four on the shot clock. In the lane to Cockrell. Goes up and spins and shoots and scores. A.J. Cockrell, nice move in the lane. He's got nine. Six-point game, 60-54. Across the timeline, gives way to Sutherland. UTSA's got to get some stops here. Down low on the left block to Agbar. Comes back out to Josh Williams. Three more. Swish. 63-54. Largest lead of the game for UT Permian Basin. They lead by nine with ten minutes to go. Here comes Matthews across the timeline. Gino's coming back in. Next chance. Down low. Cockrell turning, shooting, and scoring, and it's good. And he'll head to the line for the end one. Now... You want to talk about an athletic move. Yeah. He was going to put up a left-handed hook shot. He um, either lost control of it a little bit or the defensive player grabbed his arm. He moved it to his right hand and put off an off-balance, off the backboard, falling down jump shot. Now, there, the sky is the limit for A.J. Cockrell. It's going to be fun to watch him perform this year in the next three. His free throw, his shot put it up no good, but Billingsley gets the rebound. Season high and career high for A.J. Cockrell. Off to Bowie. Ryan attacks the goal. Slam dunk. Ryan Bowie elevates and slams it into Hatcher's face. Maybe that'll wake everybody up. 63-58. to 58. Driving is Sutherland all the way in the lane. Throws it out of bounds, but they're going to call a foul on Nick Billingsley or Little. Uh, Gino, I think. It's going to be on Gino. It's going to be his third. Well, uh, Ryan Bowie's got some some ops. It reminds me of a play last year out in uh, Flagstaff against Northern Arizona when he went baseline and gave one of the Lumberjack players a, uh, a facial. Free throw is in the air and good from T Tremeek Sutherland. He's out of Toronto, Canada. He's got three now in the game. It's 64 to 58. Second free throw is also good. Ryan Bowie's got 18, a point and a half under his average. Nine and a half to play, seven-point lead, UT Permian Basin. Littles has an angle right, screen set by Matthews. Gino backs out three-point line. High post to Cockrell. One dribble, handoff Billingsley, driving to the goal, missed the layup. Rebound George Matthews falling down. Foul on uh, Permian Basin will be on Gary Akbar. Harry Agbar's kind of uh, puzzled at what he did, but he was laying on the floor. and I thought they called it on Knight, actually. Yeah, well, Rick. they called it on Agbar, and he tripped. Uh, he's the one that tripped Billingsley, and it'll put George Matthews at the free throw line. Right now, UTSA is 13 of 19 at the foul line tonight. they got to get all the points they can with the clock stop to try to catch back up. Matthews' free throw is good. Five points, four rebounds, and one assist for George so far in the game. Next free throw on the way, and it's around and in, and it's 65-60, Permian Basin by five, 9.15 to go in the game. Tremik Sutherland across the timeline, drives to the right side of the floor, stops middle of the floor, throws it left side to Gary Akbar. 
out above the three-point line, driving on Billingsley. Has the ball kicked out of bounds off the foot of A.J. Cockrell. Shot clock's at 16, so it will stay there. And with 9.02 to play, the uh, Falcons will inbound underneath their own basket. Looking to get it in to Akbar, way above the three-point line, driving on Bowie, kicks it left side, Josh Williams for three, good. He gets another one, it's 68 to 60, he's got eight and the lead's eight, under nine minutes to go in the game. Matthews comes to the left side, gives way to Bowie. Bowie driving baseline, lost it. Hatcher comes out of the pack with it to Tremeek Sutherland, and Billingsley cuts him off and fouls him to prevent an easy layup on the other end. Foul on Billingsley is his third. It's the 19th foul on UTSA. And it puts Tremeek Sutherland at the free throw line where he can give the Falcons a 10-point lead. Free throw by Sutherland is good. He's got five. the next one on the way and that one's good and it's 70 to 69 840 to play across the timeline Billingsley driving baseline cut off Nick comes up to the top to Matthews lost it Josh Williams has it J.R. Harris will come back in next chance for UTSA on the baseline right side Williams crosses over on Matthews out to Akbar kick it left corner to Knight back out to Williams fadeaway three that one's a bad shot and Bowie is fouled by Akbar going for that loose ball and UTSA will go to the other end and shoot free throws. This is good for the Roadrunners to try to get back in the game. Down by 10 with 8.21 to go. They get a chance to score with the clock stopped. It's the fourth foul on Akbar. And he's going to come out for a little while. And here's Ryan at the free throw line for UTSA. First one is good. Let's pause for identification on the Learfield Sports Roadrunner Sports Network. First free throw good for Ryan. Here's number two on the way, and that one's good too, and it's 70-62. to 62. The lead is eight. Nine and a half for Bowie, 20 in the game. 8.15 to play as Sutherland comes across the timeline. J.R. Harris in his hip pocket. Sutherland crosses over. Bounce on the goal. Slam dunk for Hatcher. That play set up because Sutherland got way too good a penetration. Everybody collapsed on him, and Hatcher jammed it home. Matthews straight away for UTSA. Down low on the block to Cockrell. Spinning in the lane. Hook shots blocked. It's going to be goaltending and another big basket for A.J. Cockrell. He's got 13. You know, Timeout, 7.56 to go in the game, 72-64. to 64. Cockrell with 11 and a half. This is from Winter Basketball's game when UTSA had its last lead of 11-10. And the Falcons have the basketball, and in the backcourt, Lacey with uh, four fouls will give way to Williams and now uh, to Sutherland, and he's across the timeline. 7.45 left, eight-point lead for Permian Basin. Screen set by Hatcher. Sutherland picks up the dribble, gives to Billy D. Williams. Driving on Bowie, backs out three-point line. Comes back to Sutherland above the three-point line. Sutherland attacks, whips a pass, right corner. Lacey for three, good. It's a uh, 75-64 lead. The lead's 11 for Permian Basin, their largest of the game. And Lacey's got four threes. Here's Littles with it between the circles. High post to Cockrell. Back to Bowie on the left wing. Ryan on the drive to the goal. Leans in, shoots, misses, but he drew a foul. And two free throws come for Ryan Bowie. Three fouls now on Josh Williams. And it's well, they're well over the 10 foul limit. They've committed 13 if you're counting at home. Bowie's free throw is good. Ryan's got 21. Nick Allen comes in for Matthews, so it's the starting, uh, well, it's not quite the starting five because uh, Harris and Cockrell are out there along with the starters, Littles, Allen, and Bowie. Next one for Ryan on the way. That one rattles in. 75-66, 22 in the game for Ryan Bowie. He's got 11 in each half, and he still has seven minutes to add to that total, and the Roadrunners are going to need every point they can get from him. 
Lacey has it angle right, fakes the three, driving on Bowie, kick it right corner, Williams, three more, air ball, almost an air ball, just kind of grazed the back side of the rim. Here's J.R. Harris across the timeline. JR, head up dribble, gives to Littles. Gino penetrates on Williams, all the way to the baseline, backs out. Throws a pass right side to Harris. He'll drive baseline to the goal, lays it up and in. JR Harris scores. 75 68, seven point game. Three possession game. Roadrunners have got to get some stops. Sutherland comes into the front court. Littles guards him over by the hash mark on the right side in front of the UT Permian Basin bench. Sutherland driving all the way to the goal. High off the glass. No good. Bowie, backside rebound. Here come the Roadrunners. That's one of the stops they needed. Ryan across the timeline. Left corner, Nick Allen doesn't shoot. Posting up Cockrell. He'll turn baseline. Shoot left in an air ball. He goes uh, hard to the floor. No arm, no foul on that one. And uh, Brooks Thompson can't believe that he's not shooting free throws. Here's Williams, cut off by Harris. Kicks it left side. Josh Williams for three. No good. Second chance for the Roadrunners. They get two stops in a row here. Bowie across the timeline. He'll come into the front court. High screen set by Cockrell. Bowie all the way to the goal. Slam dunk again for Ryan. And Brooks Thompson will... the front court. Akbar is going to come back in with those four fouls. Here's Lacey on the drive. Leaves way for Billy Williams. Billy D gives to Josh and he'll come to the right side and leaves for Lacey. Lacey tries to go back to Williams. Makes the catch. 12 to shoot for Lacey. Driving on Harris. Trying to cross him over. And stolen away by Bowie. And a foul is going to be called on Lacey and say goodnight. That's going to be his fifth foul. And Ryan Bowie can go to the line and try to get two uh, free ones here to cut the lead to three. Bowie's got his sixth double-double in his year-and-a-half uh, career, almost a year-and-a-half. Uh, Bowie tonight with 24-10. and 10. And that turnover for Permian Basin is their first of the half. The... Uh, Falcons will get Anthony Knight back on the floor. He's played sparingly here in the second half. And Ryan Bowie, two free throws to cut this lead down to three, perhaps. And it's also the eighth 20-point game in Ryan Bowie's career and his fourth this season. And he needs to get to 30 if he can. Bowie's free throw is good. He's got 25 in the game. It's 75-71. The lead is four. And UTSA can cut it down to three if Bowie can hit this one. And the Roadrunners in the midst of an 8 nothing run have done that down to three. It's 75-72, five and a half to go. Knight across the timeline. No one picked him up all the way to the goal, and he got a free one. He's going to shoot two free throws. Nobody cut off the dribbler. Nick Allen thought there was help behind him, and there wasn't. And it'll be two free throws uh, for Knight. Anthony Knight to the free throw line for UT Permian Basin. Knight uh, is a 17% free throw shooter on the year. He fell him a lot. Now he's now 2 of 13 for the year, and he's worse than that. Hey, Cockrell having a very nice half, 11 points this half, 3 out of 4, 5 out of 7 from the line. Here's the second one for Knight. On the way, and that one's good. He's a better look. That's, that's some pretty good form, but... Only made three free throws out of 15 this year. Littles across the timeline, four-point game. Screen set by Cockrell. Gino on the drive. Angle right to Harris. Posted down low to Cockrell. He's held by Hatcher. And now Cockrell will go to the free throw line for UTSA. And the Roadrunners can cut the lead to two if AJ can hit these free throws. We were talking about that during the timeout, Andy. Just getting, uh, letting Cockrell post up, playing a two-man game over here with Bowie or Harris. Or Harris and nice lob pass in and Cockrell at the line. Here's the free throw by AJ Cockrell. He's got 14 points and five rebounds now, and he needs another one here to cut this lead to two. UTSA was down 11, and they've uh, come all the way back to within three at this point, and two if AJ hits this free throw, which he misses short. Rebound by Akbar. 5.15 to play. He'll leave way for his point guard, Sutherland. And Tremaine Sutherland is across the timeline. Leaves way for Knight. A curl at the top for Akbar against Allen. Driving on Allen. In the lane. To the goal. Lays it up and rattles it in. 78-73. Five-point game. Middle for uh, 
UT Permian Basin. Here's Allen on the drive. Hard to the goal. Off the glass and scores. 78-75. 4.50 left. Three-point lead. Roadrunners need some stops again. A couple at least. Here's Sutherland over with it on the right side. Comes all the way out near the hash mark and now a little bit further towards the half-court line. Hatcher sets the screen for him. Throws it right side to Agbar. Posting up Hatcher baseline right. Backing in on Cockrell. Has it stripped away by Cockrell. And here come the Roadrunners. Across the timeline, Harris. Patience. Got to be patient here. Straight away, Allen firing for three. Off the heel, no good. A rebound by Knight. And here come the... Uh, Falcons, two on three. Transition three. Billy D. Williams, no good. Cockrell, the rebound. And it comes to Bowie. Bowie comes across the timeline. Drives to the right side to Harris. Three more on the way. Bullseye. Tie game at 78. J.R. Harris has eight. And the Roadrunners have battled back from 11 down. Under the four-minute mark we go. Sutherland between the circles. Gives way to Knight. Almost lost it in half court. He'll drive right side. Leave way for Akbar. Akbar on the drive. In the lane against Allen. They're going to call a foul on Nick. Free throws will come after the timeout. 3.39 to go in the game. 78-78. Our score with 3.39 to go. A special thanks to AA Best Bail Bonds for their support of UTSA Athletics. Free throws for Akbar. Four of four at the line. Free throw in the air. Good. Unties the game. Before that, UTSA was on a 14 to three run to cut the to take a, uh, to tie the game at 78. And now Akbar can add one more to it. And this free throw is good. It's 80 to 78. He's got 18 in the game. Littles into the front court for UTSA. Leaves way for Allen. Uh, Allen has four fouls. Cockrell now with three. J.R. Harris on the drive. Front of the rim. Lays it off the glass and scores. We're tied at 80, and here comes Sutherland across the timeline for Permian Basin. Kicks it left side to Knight. Driving on Harris, backs out three-point line. Now to Williams, crossing over on Bowie. In the lane, right side to Agbar. He'll back it back out, 15 on the shot clock. Hatcher baseline right against Cockrell. AJ gives ground, out to Knight left side. Knight attacks the goal, finger rolls it up. It rolls out no good, but they got a foul on UTSA, and it will put Knight at the free throw line. Now remember, he's not a very good free throw shooter. He's the one that started this game two for 12. He's one of two in this game. And he made the last one that he, he made shot? the last one. So he's three for 15 for the year. So he's had a lot of practice. Free throw by Knight is good. He's obviously Foul shooting line. a better percentage from the three-point line than the free throw I think throw they line. all are. Here's the next one for Knight. And it is around and rolls in. 82-80, Permian Basin by two, three minutes to go. Brooks Thompson calls out the new play. They put Harris and Cockrell on the weak side. Littles has it angle right. Now they're trying to post up Cockrell to try to come baseline right side. They're fronting him, can't get him the basketball. Off to Bowie, 14 on the shot clock for Ryan. He'll attack, backs out three-point line. Now drives, and a foul's going to be called on Williams, Josh Williams. And Ryan Bowie can shoot free throws and tie the game. Ryan's got 26 and 10. So three of their players on the floor right now have four fouls. Akbar Hatcher and uh, Josh Williams all have four. And for UTSA, Allen has four. Here's Ryan's free throw, and it's and no good. Popped out. So the best Ryan can do is cut it to one, and UTSA is going to have to work really hard on defense in this last 245 because the, the Falcons are usually able to get to some of the shots that they want. Free throw by Bowie is good. He's got 27 in the game. It's 82-81 with 2.44 to play. Southern will veer off to the left. Now come back middle of the floor. Gino Littles guards him. UTSA tied the game at 78. They haven't had the lead since the 14-11 mark of the first half. Knight has the basketball between the circles. Gets way for Agbar. They run a weave at the top of the circle. Agbar against Allen. Driving left baseline. Cut off on the baseline. Throws a pass out. It's almost intercepted. Collision. Saved by Williams. Out to Sutherland. Stripped away by that Hatcher. And he lays it up and in. 84-81. Six points for Hatcher. Across the timeline is Allen for UTSA. Left side, J.R. Harris. Trying to post up Cockrell. Muscling down low with Williams. Allen throws it right side to Bowie. Ryan driving, leans in, has the shot blocked, and they're going to call a jump ball 
and the alternating possession arrow favors Permian Basin. So they have the ball in a three-point lead with 1.58 to go. And Josh Williams will inbound the basketball and gets it in to Knight. And Knight will dribble across the timeline, and Bowie will pick him up there. A minute 50 to go and a three-point lead for Permian Basin. Sutherland has the basketball between the circles, and Gino's out on him. Sutherland dribbles all the way over near the right side. Now back to the middle. Down to 11 on the shot clock. They're milking a lot of clock right here. Down to 9. Sutherland on the drive. Kicks it right side to Agbar. Backs out three-point line. Now attacks the goal. Stripped away. Up the floor to Bowie. Bowie will drive uh, on Knight. Take him all the way to the goal. Lays it up short. No good. And the rebound comes right back to Bowie on the floor. And now the Roadrunners will take a timeout. Bowie forced that one, but the Roadrunners got lucky because the rebound ricocheted off of Agbar's hand. They play pretty much under control. Gino gets the inbounds from Nick Allen, and he'll fire to the left side to Harris and right back to Nick, and now to Little's three-point line. 20 to shoot. Off a of curl, it comes to Harris above the three-point line. His pass is deflected and stolen. Up the floor to Knight. Knight's going to go in and miss the layup. He tried to come up with a fancy dunk, and he uh, lost his footing. Up the floor to Bowie. Ryan attacks the goal. Lob to A.J. Cockrell. He lays it in. One-point game, 84-83, 55 seconds to play. Here's uh, Gino Littles across the timeline. Sutherland will call timeout. They want to get Billy Williams back on the floor. We're uh, one point down. Josh Williams to inbound off to our left. He'll throw it in the backcourt and give way to Sutherland, who comes across the timeline. Permian Basin by one, 44 seconds to play. Hatcher above the three-point line, lobs it in the lane to Akbar. Great catch by Akbar, leans in, shoots and scores, and a foul on Allen. And Nick Allen's night is done. That's his fifth, and it's going to be an and-one opportunity. He's got 20 in the game. Akbar's free throw is no good. Roadrunners can tie with a three right here. Here's Littles across the timeline all the way. The goal lays it up and in. UTSA takes timeout, 86-85. We're matching up man with them. And here comes the inbounds, and they'll get it into Sutherland. And Sutherland's going to come across the timeline, and Bowie tries to strip it away from him, and it's loose in the corner. And we're going to get a foul, and it'll put Sutherland at the free throw line. Sutherland on the year is 16 of 34. That's 47%. And you would really like for him to miss one right here, at least one. Four fouls on Littles. Two shots coming right here for Sutherland. He's got six points in the game. Free throw in the air is good. It's a two-point game at 87-85. That free throw didn't look like somebody that's 16 of 34 this year. Billy D. Williams comes out. They'll put Knight back in the game for defense. 87-85. Knight to the free throw line. And his free throw is on the way and good. It's a three-point game again, 88-85. 26.5 to go. Chino across the timeline. Chino leaves way for Matthews. Matthews needs some help. Goes to Bowie left side. The screen set by Matthews. Ryan backs out. 16 seconds to go. Ryan all the way to the goal. Leans in. Missed the shot. Cockrell the offensive rebound. His shot blocked. Littles gets it. Puts it up. That shot blocked. Permian Basin has it. They're going to throw it up the floor to Knight. Knight cross court pass to Sutherland. He'll lay it up and in. And UT Permian Basin is going to beat UTSA 90-85. to 85. The Roadrunners came back on the uh, 